Good afternoon, family and friends. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. It's good. Think great, do great, be great. Because you are born to be great. If you must be greater, be greater than yourself. Be greater than you were yesterday. And be greater than you are today. You are a living person. You are human. You have the mind and the power. You have the will and the power to change your situation. Your life remains unchangeable. But there are things around you or people around you that can influence you to change how you live your life. But you have the sole power to decide how you live. Yeah, I can tell you to be this, I can tell you to do this, to do that. But you have the final decision, you have the final say. No God has final say over your life. No man, no woman, no spirit, no ghost have the final say over your life. Remember that you are greater. You are more important than God. You don't need God in your life. It is God that needs you. Without you, God does not exist. Without you, God is powerless. Without you, God is useless. Without you, there is nothing God can do under the sun. Everywhere you hear something happen, it is natural people that make it happen, not spiritual people, not religious people. It is natural people. There is no such thing as religious people or spiritual people unless morons who have decided to condescend to the to animal even less than animals and begin to live against nature we all are natural people we all the powers we have all the powers we experience all the things we are doing they are all natural because nature is the factual truth and you cannot cheat you cannot change nature you cannot cheat nature no matter how you see people that say they are not spiritual because they believe the religious lie that you know sin is their problem because they are committing sin god is angry they will not go to heaven they will not experience the power of god with all that bullshit you know they feed people with it. They go into, they say they will never, you know, engage in natural thing anymore. They want to be spiritual. They engage in long praying and fasting. After all that, they come out, they see a woman, boom, they have erection, boom. They have sex, boom, back to nature. <laughs> nature is our root. You cannot change nature, you cannot cheat nature. All you have to do is to explore and enjoy nature, period. All those laws rules and regulations that men put on, especially those ones they put to suppress people, to control people, they are limiting us. But naturally we are unlimited. Naturally we are infinite. Naturally we are eternal. Naturally we are unchangeable. Naturally we are powerful. So I want to speak about God and coronavirus. Coronavirus. Remember, before coronavirus outbreak, I've been encouraging us to always use the current event, what is happening in the now, today, to, you know, call the attention of our people that are still sleeping, that still believe in God and Jesus Almighty. Call their attention to see, no, that faith in God is fake. That belief in God is a lie. The almighty God is a fraud. Religion is a fraud. 
there is nothing like almighty god anywhere there is no one that is almighty anywhere no 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 so i've been encouraging you know, because that is the only way we can see at least you know people begin to reason all don't give up don't say because you have done it before the person or the people did not listen then you give up no things will keep happening natural things will keep happening things that their god cannot handle things that their faith cannot handle such thing you use it to call the attention to see can't you think can't you consider this because the things that are happening in the world is happening for us to consider for the living to consider when you see people die is for you the living to consider when you see things happen to people around you though it did not happen to you you could have been you and they can happen to you that it didn't happen to you today or yesterday doesn't mean it will not happen to you tomorrow yes so whatever happened to one can happen to all and whatever happened to all can happen to one god and the coronavirus it started we started hearing the outbreak in china and they say it's in america it's in nigeria it's other places right people begin to talk about what the cause of it some say because there are some are eating bats that are eating the brothers bullshit virus is man-made we have found out that virus is man-made man made it just as man made god the reason why god cannot cure virus any virus any type of virus whether it's ebola whether it's corona if, whether it's malaria whatever it is god cannot cure it because god man made god and man made the virus so if there is god almighty and they taught us that this god so loved the world hey he loved the world and he sent his only lying begotten son that if you believe in him you will not perish but have everlasting life <laughs> The first part, at, at least, if God so loved the world, how about Chinese people? Yeah, Christians, we say, yeah, they are not Christians. No, they have Christians in China too. And they say God so loved the world. They did not say God so loved Christians. If God loved the world, and that God is almighty, giving them the condition of believing before he, he, he saved them, that God is silly. That God is useless. That God is not worthy of your prayer. That God is not worthy of your belief. That God is not worthy of your faith. That God is not worthy of your praise. That God is not worthy of your time. Not to even wasting your life for that God. As many are doing today, wasting their life for God. Hating their loved ones for God. Thinking that believing in God or faith in God will help them. Why is not helping them? Then they have the, the only hope they have is after death. Any hope you have after death is hopeless and is useless. If the hope cannot work for you now, if the hope cannot keep you now, if the hope fail you now, that you can never have that hope after death you don't know what goes on after death you don't know anybody that tell you they know this is what will happen after i die no <laughs> unless you're talking of reincarnation okay you're coming back of course use the nature as an example you keep three come back life is eternal we keep living we have no beginning and we have no ending and that's where reincarnation coming reincarnation comes with karma Whatever you do in this life, you will experience in next life. You treat people like animals in this life, you'll be treated like animals in the next life. Pure. <laughs> but telling you we go to heaven or hell after the after life is nobody know that shit. Because it does not exist. As any of your loved one who used to believe in God, heaven, 
carry Bible about, carry Quran about, carry Torah around. Have any of them that died come back and tell you, yeah, oh, that place is good. Make sure you come. Never. They only put the lie in the Bible about the rich man and the Lazarus. It's not even heaven. They say it was Abraham person. Which Abraham, Abraham that never existed. <laughs> so for those of you who still believe there is God Almighty, who still say I am a fool for saying there is no God, where is your God in China? I want to know. Where is that God of Oyedebo? Where is that God of Adeboye? Where is that God of Abraham? Where is that God of Israel? Where is that God of all flesh? Where is that God that created heaven and earth? Where people are dying in thousands in China because of common virus? Can't you see that virus is greater than God? God cannot cure virus. God cannot prevent virus. All the best that the believers can do or the theists can do is to blame themselves or blame man. You say, you don't blame the creator, you blame man because of what they did. And you say the creator does not sleep. He watches over what we do. And I ask you, you have your children in one room and you are in that room watching over your children. Will you blame your children if they get hurt or they blame you? Of course, in America, if you are watching over a child and something bad happened to him, they will arrest you. They will, they will question you. And the what were you doing? Where were you when this thing happened to this child? It's called neglect. And you will go to jail. Or you, you bail yourself out. Because it's common sense. If you are as an adult, have the duty to protect children that don't know better. How about the almighty God that you say know all things, can do all things, and is everywhere? Where was God? before people begin to do whatever wrong you say that's why they are suffering and you that say they are suffering because they have done wrong are you not doing wrong so why are you not suffering why you say you confess no before you confess <laughs> you did you suffer coronavirus so you're telling me those that are suffering for coronavirus if they ask for forgiveness they will be healed no. You know, many of them have done that. <laughs> many Christians are dying there also because it's virus. They tell you, oh, don't touch public things. Put marks. Uh, wash your hand always. How about the blood of Jesus? How about the sprinkling the holy water? At least, Roman Catholic Church, you that uh, sprinkle holy water, you can use helicopter. Not only using helicopter to carry Pope. Use a helicopter to go and spray holy water over China. If you love people, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Good news. Good news is this. There is power in the name of Jesus or in the holy water or in the holy blood of Jesus to heal the sick. Go and spread it. But you know that those things are bullshit. Yeah, people believe in it. Right from in your village, in your house, you see sickness is there, disease is there. The name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has not prevented it. That's why you have hospitals. Everywhere you see hospital, it proves that there is no power of God anywhere to heal. Anywhere you see a doctor, it proves that there's no power of God or power of Jesus to heal. Anywhere you see chemists, anywhere you see pharmacy, it proves there is no power of God or Jesus to heal. And talking about, you know, preaching the gospel all over the world, how many men of God, how many anointed men of, men of God have dedicated their time or their private jet or their money or their whatever to go and preach in those areas where coronavirus is killing people? He said, go and pray to them. You will lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. That is the commission Jesus gave to his disciples. As, the, as Christians, we call it, to his body, the church. The church is the body of Christ. So the church represents Christ today. As chapter 10, verse 38, he said, how God 
anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all. Why is there no man of God, vicar of Christ, pope, apostles of Christ in Pentecostal churches, bishops of Christ, pastors of Christ, evangelists of Christ, prophets of Christ, teachers of Christ, pastors of Christ? Where are you? Why coronavirus is killing people, but you are driving Toyota Corona? <laughs> You are you are buying Toyota Corona where coronavirus is killing people in China. <laughs> where is that your anointing? God anointed me. God called me. Where is all that your noise about God calling you? Where is TV Joshua? They do their hands like this power. Where is all those criminals you call men of God? This is why I call them criminals. Because they cannot help you in time of need, but they are collecting your money. Using the Bible, using the religious book as gone, robbing people. They are criminals, all of them. Every man of God is a criminal. Every woman of God is a criminal. They are thieves. They rob you without mercy. So that's why I trash them without mercy. They rob you without mercy. That's why I, I mock their God. I mock their faith without mercy. Because all of them are thieves. Where is God in China? Where is God in America? Where is God wherever they have that coronavirus going on now? Where is that God? That God is nowhere to be found. That God is not omnipresent. That God is not omnipresent. He's not anywhere. That God is not omnipotent. He cannot do anything. And that God is useless in reality. You should know that this is reality and there's no born again there's no christian there's no man of god there's no child of god there is no priest there's no pastor that can stand before coronavirus and you, they show us that picture in china or in asia where the priests are serving mass with mask over their over their nose and mouth to show you there's no protection in the name of Jesus. There's no protection in the power of God. There's no protection in the blood of Jesus. There's no protection in the stickers you make. There's no protection in the aprons you wear in the name of God or Jesus. It is time you think. Use the current events to teach yourself. It's even in your Bible. It says, does not nature teach you these things? Nature should teach you better. Naturally, God cannot do anything. Naturally, God is not anywhere. It is always people. You see people, scientists, trying to find, I, I think they, so, someone said they have already found the cure for coronavirus. It is people doing all that, not any God. How about those people that say, God revealed this shit, God revealed that, that uh, to, uh, for them or to them. Where is that revelation? God of revelation. Why is God not rev revealing to you the cure? For coronavirus. Even God don't need to reveal it to you. It's already to say, Behold, I give to you power to trade upon snakes and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy. He said, And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why can't you go and lay hands on those sick in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, and let us see that your God exists? Anyone that said there is God is a moron. Peace.